One of the most challenging aspects of programming and making game is memory management. And when I talk about memory management, it means when you should load the stuff in the memory and when you should free them. This is really important in game because in game we have a lot of resources like textures, meshes, sounds, and many other things which should be loaded when we need them and should be deleted when we don't need them. Loading and unloading this stuff manually is nearly impossible, so we should find some automatic way to do loading and unloading. There are a lot of methods already exist for this, but today we are going to talk about ref counted. And if you use Godot, believe me, you should know about ref counted. So imagine you want to instantiate an enemy in your game scene, and for that you need to load enemy texture to the memory. Next, you want to add another enemy to your scene, and this time you will not load another enemy texture in the memory again. Instead, you use a texture which already exists in the memory. So up to now, we know when the resource not exists in the memory, we will create that. And if exist, we should use that and not create a new one. But when we should free that memory? The answer to that is when that memory is not needed anymore. In this case, when both enemy die. So what we should do is keep track of how many objects in our scene use this resource. And when no one use that anymore, we will delete that. So in this case, we create an integer variable inside the resource and we name it, for example, ref count. When the first enemy create that resource, we increase the ref count by one. Then when the other enemy use that resource, we increase that again by one. And now when the first enemy dies, we decrease the value of ref counted by one. And also when the second enemy dies, we do the same things. So when the value of the rip count is zero, we will free that memory. But please note, you cannot increase the value of rip count just by adding one to it. Because if these enemies load in the scene in two different CPU threads, that could cause a problem. So this adding operation should be thread safe. In a standard C++ library, this method is already implemented. You can use std shade pointer and std make shade. But I'm not going to talk about C++ standard library because Godot engine implements its own way of rip counted memory management. In Godot, there is a class which is called rip counted. This class inherits from object class and many other classes inherit from this class. Most importantly, all of the resource classes inherit from the rip counted. This means ref counted functionality exists in every type of resource like texture, meshes, and sounds. Now let's see what is inside ref counted class. Ref counted class has some methods which you can also access from inside Godot. Get reference count. This will give you the number of the ref counted which we explained before. Init ref. This is used for initialization of ref counted. Reference. This will add one to ref count. On reference, this will decrease one from rep count. You might use the first method to get reference count, but I suggest don't touch other three methods because Godot automatically reference and unreference for you. And if you use this method, you can cause a memory leak or your data will delete it when you still need them. And that will cause a problem. Use this method only if you know what you are doing. So let me show you everything inside Godot. Here I created a simple Godot project. In ready function, I create an image texture, which is a resource. And as we know, all of the resource inherit from ref count. Now, if I print texture get reference count, that will give us the result number one. Because only one thing use this image texture, and that is our texture variable. Now, if I create another variable, which I call texture2, and assign texture to texture2, and then call texture get reference count again, this will give us the result to number two, because now two variable use my image texture. Now, if I assign texture2 to null and call get reference count again, this will give us the result to number one again. As you can see, Godot automatically keep track of how many things use this resource. And by the way, this resource will be deleted at the end of the ready function because this variable is created inside the scope of ready function. And this variable will be deleted, so also this resource will be deleted. If you want to keep this resource, you can create a variable in global scope and assign our resource to it. This thing is also valid in entire scene tree. I created two sprite nodes which use the same texture, and now I call get reference count in one of them. 
This will give us the result number three because there are three things that use this resource. Two of them are the first and the second node and one of them is the variable texture inside GD script. Well, up to now you know something about ref count. But to understand everything better, let me show you everything in C++ or another word in GD extension. By the way, this video is part of the GD extension video series. If you don't know how to create GD extension project, please watch other video in this series. And if you don't care and you want to only learn about ref count, just keep watching this video. So now I want to do the same thing which I did in GD script. First, I want to create the image texture object. So I include image texture header. And before I create that, please note, if you write C++ code, you should never use new and glit, which you normally do when you write C++ code. Godot has its own way of memory management. And when you write in C++ in Godot, you should use memnew and memdelete. So I create a pointer with type of image texture, and then I create an image texture with memnew. Well, this is working and this will give you no error, but you should never do that. Mm. Let me explain. As I told you, image texture inherit uh, somehow from ref counted. And inside ref counted, we have some method which increase and decrease the ref count number. And the important part is that image texture don't automatically call this method. And also image texture don't automatically delete when the ref count number becomes zero. There is another class which is responsible to do these things. And this class is called ref. In another word, ref class manage everything automatically. What we should do now is to put our image texture inside a ref class and then access that within the ref class. Let me show you what I mean. Create a ref class with a template argument of class that you want to create. In this case, the template argument is image texture and then choose a name for that. I name it text. And for the constructor input, I put the image texture that I created. Or I can delete this and create the object directly here. So each time you want to create any type which inherit from ref count, I suggest to put inside ref. You can create that also without ref, but in that case, you should manage it yourself. I mean, you should delete that at some point. Otherwise, you will have a memory leak. So now how we can access our image texture? Well, you can access that with arrow operator. For example, I can call the method getFormat, which give us the format of image by arrow operator like this. Or you can call any other method inside image texture like that. Anyway, if you ask how arrow operator give us our object, this is actually done by a C++ operator overloading inside ref class. Just to know, and I'm not going to explain that. If you want to know more about that, you can search about C++ operator overloading. Okay, and now the moment of the truth. Let us see what rep count class does. After creating image texture and put it inside ref, let us call and see get reference count and see the result. So the result would be one. And if you create another ref image texture and call it text two and assign text to text two, then the result of the get reference count would be two, exactly like GT script. Another thing that I noticed when I working with ref class is that you cannot assign that to a null pointer. To assign that to a null pointer, just call unref method with dot not arrow. And this will be on reference the image texture. You can also assign the text object to a variant and that is also working. But in C++, I prefer to not use variant. I like to work directly with uh, ref class. Okay, that was about ref counted class. I hope you liked this video and this video was helpful to you. If you have any question, put it in the comment section. I try to answer them. Have a good time until the next video. Bye.